so everyone's finished now. I think it went really, really well. I think the aim of today was for everybody to go at their own pace. There was no pressure on anybody. There was no pressure saying you have to run. Um, and I think that was quite good because I think starting off and when you're trying to encourage people into fitness, it's good to have them at their own levels at the beginning and then having them have fun. So that's important. And then I suppose as I was going around, I was trying to encourage some of the girls maybe who are walking to maybe run alongside me for about a minute. Because I find that in life that once you kind of get yourself in motion, um, that that can be helpful as well. Now And then I kind of said to them, well, if you want to take a break now for a minute and then we'll run again for a minute. So that's what we were doing. And I think that was good to get them to experience the girls who came here today thinking that they were just going to walk it or just going to jog a bit that they actually did put in the effort and run and that's all you can ask for from girls is people to just put in the effort and what more can you ask from them when they took the effort to get up today and get out in this glorious weather whereas a lot of other kids are stuck at home on their smartphone and I was just chatting to some of the girls there and they were saying that they've made new friends today so that's why it's also important to get out and go. Me personally I found the course tough um, it was more hike which need than run which need there was a lot of hill um, and I suppose going around I kept having to ask people's names because I can't see their faces I can only see the colors so the most colors I was mostly seeing are were blue uh, blue red and yellow um, and so yeah so I and then as we were going along I saw well I saw two tops that were blue. I couldn't really see their faces or anything. So I asked one of those girls, would they like to jump in and guide me? And one of them said yes. And like, there was no hesitation when I asked the girl, would she guide me? She just jumped in straight away and said yes. And I think again, that's a very powerful statement from the Irish Girl Guides and their members to show that they're willing to help other people and so then I got the different girls who were helping me to close their eyes to just get to experience what it's kind of somewhat like for me because it's very hard for me to describe to them what I can see because I've never lived in their world of what they what they can see um, so I suppose the best way I was describing it is of being blurry and foggy and seeing colours but to try and get them to experience that I was trying to get them to close their eyes and maybe when their eyes were closed they had the light maybe shining against them that they, even though their eyes would be closed they'd know that the sun was there um, because of the, how strong it is. So to get some sort of a sense of what it's like for me. So, and I think they did get that. And then I was trying to encourage the girls that they, if they ever come across any vision impaired kid, girl or boy, that they'd offer to maybe be their guide runner. And again, that's what I'm all about, advocating for the rights of adults and children with vision impairment and any disability for more inclusive world. So I'm happy with how today went. I enjoyed myself. So I, I think they did too.